is just moving randomly no position hold there we take off and we left the joysticks this drone is just going up by itself no 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 <laughs> don't go in that tree don't go in that tree come down am i going to lose this drone now is not coming down Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm back with another nice experiment on this DJI Neo. I have blocked this VN sensors. Let's see when I will fly this drone with VN sensors blocked. Will this drone fly properly, or it will just lose the control and fly, uh, fly away? Uh, let's see. Let's figure it out. The reason for blocking the VN sensor is I want to fly this drone through a tight place. I will show you just now. Uh, that place is about uh, one feet high from the ground so this drone uh, i in my previous video so i tried to fly this drone through that gap but i could not get success because of the vn sensors but in this video i'm going to vlog these vn sensors so obviously then this drone will have no control let's see if i can fly through there and also let's see if this drone will have position hold it will will it pick up the gps signals properly let's figure it out in this video All right, it's raining again. I have blocked this VN sensors on this DJI Neo. Let's see what happens when we block these VN sensors. Will this drone hover in place properly or it will just keep moving around? Normally, when we bring our hand under the drone, the drone starts going up because of the VN sensors. Let's see what is going to happen here when I'm going to fly this drone. So, one thing I also noticed here, this drone is not picking up the satellites properly. They are still on red. It's not, uh, actually it's not stable, it's fluctuating. It's going to 6 and all of a sudden it's going to the 16. It's not stable. Let's see if I take off this drone. Uh, obviously it's not picking up the home point. It's not telling me the home point updated uh, because of the VN sensors are blocked or something like that. Let's see what happens when I take off this drone. Uh, how easy is going to be if I, I will try to land it? All right. Landing. Yeah, my drone is stuck in the air. I'm pushing the stick down. The drone is still stuck there. It's telling me landing, but it's not landing. All right. There, it's just going up. Landing. It's telling me landing but it's still stuck. It will try uh, to get the enough satellites first before it starts landing. There is coming down now. And it's not stable. There is no one controlling it and drone is just going up. Let me just try to land it. I don't want to lose this drone. It's also windy right now. The drone is still going up. Even though it's showing me landing but it's still going up. It's stuck there. It's not coming down. Here on the app is beeping for landing, but it's not landing. All right, there it comes. And the drone will not... The drone is not holding the position. The moment I switch off that uh, landing process, the drone just starts going up. It does not stay on the place again uh, anymore. Right now it's showing me landing. But the drone is still stuck there. Landing. Yeah, I'm not controlling this drone. It's just showing me landing and it's stuck. <laughs> Let's see if I can move it around. Yeah, I still can go uh, sideways and forward and backward. But in case of uh, descending and uh, Increasing the altitude, that thing is not working properly because of the VN sensors, they are blocked. Alright, even, even though it has enough satellites, but still the drone is not stable at one place. Look what it's doing now. It's just moving around by itself. Nobody is controlling it. It's just doing the funny stuff. Now it's just stuck in the air. Here is showing me landing and there you see what is doing. There is no positioning. It is just doing the funny stuff. 
Yes, moving around by itself. <laughs> Do not try this with your drone guys. You have a high possibilities of losing your drone if you do this kind of stuff with your drone. The motors are also making the funny stuff. There we go. <laughs> it was about to be crashed. <laughs> It's just moving randomly, no position hold. Now I just want to crash into the tree, which I don't want to happen, which I will not let it happen. Look there. So when there's no region sensors, region sensors are blocked. This drone will do funny stuff because of no position hold. Uh, on the altitude side, this drone will start going up and up by itself unless you give command to land. And then still also it will struggle to land, it will not land immediately. Let's try again. Let me actually try to take off from the ground. Let's see what this drone will do. All right, there we take off and we left the joysticks. This drone is just going up by itself. No, 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 <laughs> don't go in that tree. Don't go in that tree. Come down. Am I going to lose this drone now? It's not coming down. I'm holding the stick down. Uh, all right, it's coming down now. And you see when it's coming down also, it's just coming down like this. No vision sensors, no position hold. One more time. All right, we have a navigation error now. Actually, what I want from this drone is, uh, I want to pass it through, I want to pass it through the very tight place, close to the ground. Alright, let me just land it quickly first. The reason for me to block these vision sensors, I want to fly this drone through this gap here. Uh, it's almost about one feet. And this drone, if you are flying it normally with uh, vision sensors not blocked, this drone will not go through there because uh, when the drone comes to this height, it will not go further down. So the reason for me to block the sensors, I want to fly this drone a little bit that side and then when the drone will be coming down, I want to fly it on sports mode and go through this gap. Let's see if we will get success. We might uh, end up crashing it once or twice, but at the end we will have success. I want to do this. So let's go. All right, there my drone is just <laughs> doing the funny stuff. It's just moving around by itself. I don't know what he's doing. Come on. What are you doing, guy? All right, let's go, guy. Oh, <laughs> I was almost about to hit. Let's try it one more time. It's not allowing me to do what I am trying to do. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, <laughs> finally. Normally this drone, we cannot stop the vision sensors on this drone like other Mini 4s and Air 3s. But this is the only way to do what I want to do. Let's try it one more time. There the drone is landing. Let's see if it will make it again. Oh, <laughs> it was about to hit there. One more time. 
Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> so this is how this is how you can stop this vision sensors and let it go through wherever you want it. It is I will not recommend it. I will not recommend you to try this with your drone. And I am just doing this crazy stuff with this DJI Neo just to see what what is the maximum we can get from this drone. Let me try to go through another tight place from there. All right. <laughs> so this drone eventually it will uh, crash somewhere if I try to go high. Landing. I'm gonna try to pass from that place again. All right. <laughs> there we go. All right, so I guess uh, we have done what I wanted to do with this drone. Uh, I wanted to block these VN sensors and figure out if this drone will still fly properly or it will just lose the control. And you just saw this drone have no control when you block these VN sensors. Basically, this drone has the positioning system through the VN sensors and it's also not picking up the GPS anymore when we blocked these VN sensors. And the other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to fly through that gap which I just did now, which was not possible with this drone without blocking these VN sensors, which was also uh, another experience for me. So I hope you liked the video. If you do like the video, please subscribe my channel. Until next time, ciao, ciao.